it's Penny and the Professor. Here's Penny. Hi everybody, we're at the end of lesson 11 and it's time for that deep dive today. But we're also not wearing our swimsuits because we've been practicing reading Halloween stories too. So we didn't have time for her to switch into her swimsuit for this lesson. But I can tell you guys that um, deep dives are really important because they teach us about language and how words work. And so I want you guys to think about the kinds of questions we ask when we're listening to a story. So the questions we asked in Last Stop on Market Street this time were a lot of questions about the vocabulary or the words in the book. I don't know if you guys remember a couple of lessons ago where we talked about the word curb, like the boys were jumping their bike up and down on the curb, or we talked about how the, tr the tree drinks through a straw, or how um, there was a soup kitchen, and what is a soup kitchen? And so we've talked about a lot of vocabulary, but Penny was reminding me that sometimes the questions in a book are about words that we don't know. Sometimes the questions are about the people in the story, like what do we know about CJ? Where is he from? Who is his grandma? What are they doing? Sometimes it's about what is happening in the story, like what are CJ and grandma doing? Where are they going? Why do they go there? And sometimes a question about a story is about where the story takes place. So it can be about a lot of different things, but words are important for us to understand that vocabulary. And that's why we keep a vocabulary journal. So we can remember all the words that we've been learning in module one. And so one of the words that we've learned is notice. We all know notice. We all know wonder. I think we've all got the word senses down pretty well, like learning about, you know, the five senses. Pretty much everybody understands what see, hear, smell, taste, and touch are. So that's been really good to have in our vocabulary journal because we've learned those really well. Today, we're gonna add a couple new words that Penny had a question about to help her kind of keep track of those. So I'm gonna turn to my next blank page and I'm gonna be putting a couple new words in here. Um, I'll add them up on the board so you guys can see them big and I'll put them right in here. So Penny asked me, what is a coin? There was a part of the story where they get on the bus and the bus driver pulls a coin out from behind CJ's ear and surprises him with this coin. And Penny was like, what's a coin? So I tried to explain to her that a coin is a kind of money, but she didn't quite get it. So I brought a coin to show her. So Penny, this is a quarter, see this? And a quarter is a type of coin that he may or may not have pulled a quarter out from behind CJ's ear. But a coin is a kind of money that is hard and round like this. And there are different kinds of coins. There are pennies and nickels and dimes and quarters and even 50 cent pieces or half dollars. There are even dollar coins that are a full dollar. There's even gold ones. So there's all kinds of different coins, but this is what a coin is. Would you like to keep this one? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna let her keep this one and we'll let her put it in her piggy bank later so she can save that. And then she'll know more about what a coin is. So we'll put coin in our journal. And then the other word that she was confused about was something that the grandma was doing on the bus. Do you guys remember when it said that the grandma was knitting or that she sat down to knit with her? And you could see she had, look at the picture on the board. Yeah, you can see that she had like little knitting needles and some yarn. She was making something. So knitting is a type of craft where you can create blankets and clothing and socks and hats and mittens and all kinds of cool things. I don't personally know how to knit. I know how to crochet, which is similar to knitting, but knitting is um, more popular. I've seen a lot more people knit than crochet. So when I was little, I learned how to crochet and I can make blankets and things like that. But it's one of those crafts that a lot of people don't know how to do anymore. So if you have a grandma or a grandpa or in your mom or a dad or somebody that knows how to crochet or knit or make things out of yarn like that, it would be really fun for them to teach you or show you how to do that. That would be great. And I will show Penny how to do it later so that she gets more of an idea of what that is in her mind. Think about in this book, if there were any other words that you had trouble 
understanding, like you weren't sure about what they were. And I want you to ask a learning coach to help you understand the word. And then in our discussion, I want you to tell us what your word is from the text. It needs to be from last stop on Market Street. I want you to find a word that you don't know what it means. Have a learning coach help you understand the word. You can look it up on Google. If your learning coach just knows what it is, they can tell you. If you have something that represents that, like we had a coin today, you can show us what the word is in person on your video. But I want you to together um, just teach us that new word. Because if all of us each pick one word out of the book and teach everybody else in the discussion that new word, we might learn 20 new words together. So let's work together, find a new word, figure out what it means, show us in the discussion so we can all learn from each other. Have an amazing day. Thanks for taking this deep dive into language and vocabulary with Penny and I, and we will see you guys next time for lesson 12. Bye.